but what do you think about solving a problem? Now, you could argue that we in the government often don't have other resources or the structures by which we set up dialogues, which is, here's an issue that we want to solve. What are the hundred ways with which we could solve it? And what is the most preferred way of doing it? That's level not. of readiness among public officials, uh, stakeholders, and ordinary citizens to really solve community problems in a different way. And so what we're seeing is that people are anxious to sort of transcend the typical ways of fighting with each other and to sit down together and to actually come into dialogue and figure out some ways that they can come up with some common ground solutions, better collaborative problem solving, better decision making, and better decisions. Uh, like, how did we get to this process? And if I didn't really buy into it um, at this level, maybe because I took part in this community engagement process, I might not love the outcome, but I can support it at least. Um, and so there, the benefits for citizens and for public officials in terms of lessening risk increasing empowerment, increasing the transparency of the decision-making process, and helping government be more accountable to the wishes and concerns of everyday people uh, become apparent as people do this on a larger scale. Public officials, stakeholders, and ordinary citizens are hungry to find better ways of doing business together. And so I think that thinking about participatory um, democratic mechanisms, thinking about collaborative governance, thinking about collaborative problem solving, really is a cutting edge thing that's going on in countries, you know, and around the world, and that there's a learning community evolving around.